Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Asha, and in today's video, I'm going to test out a new AI rendering tool called Prom AI. This can be used with sketch rendering, and I'm just curious to see what it comes up with and um, see if it's something I wanna utilize within my own interior design process. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, come along for the ride. So one thing to quickly note about AI is that it's all about the prompt. A prompt is just another way of saying how you give context to the AI. It's like Googling. You're giving very specific instructions or context to let the AI know what type of information you want it to put out there. So the more specific and the longer the prompt, the better. All right, so I am now on my computer. We're just going to go through the application. The AI tool that I am using is called Prom AI. I think that is what how you pronounce this. And the feature that I think is of interest to more of the architecture or interior design um, industry is this option right here, which is a sketch rendering. So what it asks is that you can upload any type of sketch and give it a prompt. Maybe it has a reference image over here in the bottom or on the left um, column, and then it will generate some imagery for you. Now, I think this is more for concepting where it can help different ideas or different textures or when you're kind of not quite sure how maybe you want to um, design a space versus maybe being very specific for your renderings, but let's try it out. So I'm going to grab a sketch rendering over from another tool I use in my design business called SketchUp. This is a project that I'm working on and I thought what we could do is grab, let's see, a sketch of the primary bedrooms. Now, if you're familiar with SketchUp, I'll just kind of quickly walk you through uh, how you would do that. So in the Styles tab, what I am on currently is shaded with texture. And if I go to Hidden Line, this is where I'm able to download a JPEG, which is what I think would recommend. I'm going to first make sure that we can see um, all the lines maybe come down to a two and make sure I have, let's see, enough of a view. Let's see, that's much better. All right. Over here on the left-hand corner, it says to upload your imagery. So I am going to upload this image of the bedroom. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we want to make sure that we give it a lot of context, um, be very specific. So I then think I'm going to give it more context on the type of material so that it has an idea of what to render. Bedding is a linen. The nightstand are oak wood. Flooring is cement. All right, it's then asking me to upload some reference images. So I'm going to go back to um, Canva where I have some reference images of this project and maybe screenshot a few of those and upload that just to see. Here's a quick view of some concept imagery. So I'm going to take a screenshot of one of the images. I'm just gonna play around with one first and see how that goes. Let's upload. Oh, I already have some. Okay, so it looks like I just upload one and then let's generate. So now it's producing um, three different images, which is why I think maybe it's better for concepting where it will give you different ideas or different ways to use the applications. So let's look at number one. The overall imagery is pretty good. I do not love what they did with the nightstands here. Um, also the wood's different and it's in different 
applications like we have this on the wall um i also didn't mention anything about the art which maybe i should but overall it does look like the sketch is coming through and it is dark enough that it's getting the idea that there is a ceiling and that there are interior doors i'm not sure why they want to put light on this but that's the first rendering let's look at the next one okay interesting again it doesn't look like they could really grasp that the uh, doors are, or like whatever this fabric is, that there's actually closet doors behind the bed. Um, again, not close to the material I would want to use. I think just being able to see it in different context is maybe the point of what this tool can do. Okay, well, I do think the imagery is nice. However, and maybe there are tricks to have exactly what you want. But in my business, obviously, there are certain materials that I want in specific um, places. And so this, again, might just be playing around with the concepting ideas. I think we can try one more. We'll do the living room and see how that renders out. Okay, I'm back here in SketchUp. I will take it off hidden line so that you guys can just see how things are actually supposed to look. And let's go over to the living space. Okay, let's see. Okay, coming up to hidden line, we want to make sure that we've got profiles, we've got depth, maybe a little bit down. There we go. Now let's upload the living room design or the living room sketch. Um, we'll give it a new prompt and let's go find that reference. All right, let's generate. Okay, interesting. Colors are very interesting. Again, they did do, the rendering itself did pretty well just picking up, except I'm not sure what this stuff is. We'll have to figure that out, but did a good job of at least picking up certain aspects of the design. Um, they got a Roman clay somewhat texture on the fireplace, though I believe I put tile. And let's see our last image. Overall, I think I mentioned that this tool might be more helpful for concepting um, at the beginning of the interior design process where you might be stuck or wanting to just get inspired by maybe textures or colorways. Um, because it was useful to just start seeing the space and having it come to life already with little to no time, like literally within seconds and generating a few options. Um, however, and maybe there's tricks to this, um, if you are in the space where you want to render, which is usually the case in my um, design process where I've already had things or specific materials picked out and you want it rendered to exactly what you need it to be. Um, I'm not sure if this tool can do that yet, but maybe. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was a fun and helpful way that makes somebody feel more confident in using AI, whether that's just uh, for fun to generate ideas and to be creative or whether you're in the actual interior design industry or maybe you're designing your own home and you want to you know get creative and see things um, differently or have a new way of seeing things so if you like this video let me know and um, if you're interested in more videos around how i use ai in my interior design business you can check out this one and i think i'll do a few more just because i find it fun so if there is uh, a specific topic you want me to do a video on please let me know and until next time everyone stay creative and stay curious. All right, bye.